everybody, welcome back. This is Debbie. I hope that you're doing well. I went to Target today and I have a little Target haul, so I thought I would share it with you. It's mostly skincare. I just started watching a new channel to me. Um, it's a dermatologist that has her own channel and she was recommended by Laura at Shake Up Laura. I will put both their links down below. I watched a couple videos and so I thought today after I went to dinner with my husband for a little Friday night date night, we stopped over at Target to get some paper goods and I got some things. Uh, now all of these aren't recommend, recommended by her, but I'll tell you which is. Okay, first thing here is the voluminous, that's kind of flashy there, the voluminous last, can't say that, voluminous lash paradise. This has been quite hyped here on YouTube. So I wanted to give this a try. I won't be using it right away because I have a tube of the reel that I'm using now, but this will be the next in my line. Unless I get impatient, which that happens, and I open it up right away. Okay, I needed some new files, and I like the Revlon ones. They're pretty sturdy, and they do a nice job. And I, I just like the little print down there with the purple and the little, looks like roses that are opened up. Close up. I needed a new sharpener for my um, eyebrow and, and eyeliners. The one I have is like this one on the top at, where it doesn't have a cover. So I probably just kind of toss this out or just keep it in case. This one is the one I wanted and I couldn't find one that had the case over alone. So I picked this up. I think this was like a dollar in the e.l.f. section. And they've got a lot of things, um, e.l.f. products there. I was really surprised. I had really checked that section out for a while. I have a problem with nail polish, like peeling off easy. So I thought I would try a strengthening top coat. And this is just by Sally Hansen. And uh, I'll let you know how it works. Also, when I was in the e.l.f. area, I really liked this spoolie here. I had one, um, but it got like kind of dirty. I, I accidentally tried to clean it with uh, one of those cotton rounds. I don't know why I did that. And I couldn't get all the little pieces of cotton. So for a buck or a dollar, I bought another one. These are really nice. I like to use hair oil sometimes, especially when I highlight my hair this light. So I picked up this one that I've used before. It's by, or is this Organics? I'm trying to read the, the label. I think the company's called Organics. It's Renewing Plus Aragon Oil of Morocco. And it is supposed to be sort of hard to read because it has the print there and then the bottle's clear. It's weightless healing dry oil. And I like to just kind of spray that on my hands like this in the palm of my hand and rub it a little bit and just take it like on the ends and maybe a little bit up here. And then lastly, a little bit in the back. And I do that after um, I blow dry or after I air dry it and it's and it's dried, I put a little bit of oil in it. And the next day, to kind of perk it up, I'll do that again. I'm trying to get the stuff that's non-skincare out of the way. Unfortunately, I have some gross but fungus on my fingernail. I had gotten my nails done at a little shop uh, about a year ago. And for some reason, this nail has been the hardest to get rid of the fungus. I actually lost the nail and it grew back and now I've got some more so I just covered it because I hate the way it looks. So I just picked up this Maximum Strength uh, Up and Up is the Target brand. It's Maximum, maximum Strength Antifungal Nail Liquid. Kind of icky but it's life. Alright, here's a product that the pharmacist that has the channel, I believe her name is Dr. Dre or Dr. Day. Like I said, I'll put it down below. She recommends this Vanna Cream. In fact, she loves all the products by this Vanna Cream. This is the Gentle Facial Cleanser. It's for sensitive skin. And what I liked about it is that it's free of dyes, lan lanolin, fragrance, um, masking fragrance, paraben, 
formaldehyde and other preservatives. And with my um, sensitive skin, I really like to try products like this. And it's sulfate free and betaine free. I've never heard of betaine, but it's a nice big size. It's eight fluid ounce and I'm going to use it after I make this video. And as always, I'll let you know how it goes. I needed to replenish a couple things. I'm just gonna take the last three things out. I have been using for quite some time CeraVe, the AM and PM lotions. I really like them. Um, I'll start here with the PM. It's in. Uh, it's wrapped up because they gave me uh, or gave whoever purchases a hydrating cleanser. This is nice, but I don't use it all the time, the hydrating cleanser, because it doesn't take off the makeup that I need to. And so I feel like it'll clean your face if you're not wearing makeup, but when you are, I kind of have to do it twice or go over it with something else. And so that's kind of a waste. So I don't know if I'll even use this. I probably maybe will put it in this drawer that I have next to me and uh, give it to somebody and they'd like to have it. This has, um, it's non-irritating, and I know that it has hyaluronic acid, it has glycerin, and because I have rosacea, my, and the lupus malar rash, which is doing really good, my dermatologist has recommended that I find products that have ceramides in there. So this, the top ingredient ingredient is purified water and then glycerin. So I'm glad that that's up on top because that's a very emollient ingredient. And although my face isn't very dry anymore, I still use the normal to dry. This has, as I said, the hyaluronic acid in it. And hyaluronic acid, in case you don't know, it helps to keep the moisture in your skin. And another ingredient that this has and that the AM lotion has is I always forget how to pronounce that. I'm going to have to look at it. It's, I want to say niacinamide, but it's not niacinamide. It's, it is niacinamide. Go figure. Niacinamide helps the skin when, um, prevents it from turning red. Or if you have, um, redness in your skin, it helps to kind of get rid of that. So I picked up the PM because I'm very low on the one I have. And then I picked up the AM while I was there. And I love this one too because it has an SPF of 30. And along with this, I received a little free bonus of the Skin Renewing Cream Serum. And I've been wondering about that product. So I'm glad that I got this sample here. I will try that. Um, I'll probably try it tonight because I think serums do really good when you use them at night because there's those hours when you're sleeping and your skin is kind of rejuvenating and the serum I think would be good to use at night. Now this also has hyaluronic acid and the niacinamide so I really like those two ingredients and I think this one also um, has glycerin, yes. And in fact, the top ingredient for this is water and then niacinamide so that's good and it has a alcohol, it's the C-E-T-E-A-R-Y-L. I'll write it down here. It's that type of alcohol, but this doesn't dry me out, so it must be an alcohol that's not very drying. And the next ingredient is glycerin. Now this does have dimethicone, but I really do love the way my skin works when I use the AM and then the PM. And I'm really more of a lotion girl. Um, on my body, I can use heavy creams, but on my face, lotions are much better. They don't clog my pores or make me feel too greasy because I can get a little oily sometimes in the T-zone, but these work perfect. Now, as I was looking in the aisle, I was thinking of different ingredients that the doctor was talking about. And I looked at this L'Oreal Pure Clay Cleanser. And it's a, it says it's exfoliate and refi refine clay to mousse. And it removes, and remo removes, I'm so sorry, impurities, dirt, oil, and pollution. And it has three pure clays plus red algae. 
Now, I read the back and there were ingredients that I really liked. Uh, they have glycerin, so that's very good. And there was another ingredient, and now I can't find it. Uh, where is it? I, I'm not seeing... Hmm, maybe if I had my readers, it would be nice. Let me put those on and see. I know there was another ingredient here that I saw that I thought was very good. Oh, that's it. It has salicylic acid. And now the salicylic acid is down in the ingredients, but I like to have a product to use once in a while that has salicylic acid. In fact, um, in my video that I did recently of my empties, my products that I've used before, I had a little sample of a product that was like almost pure um, salicylic acid. And I find that that ingredient really helps like the, the bumps that I get from my um, malar rash. I'm sorry if I'm looking up, but I have a timer on my, my phone here and I'm trying to stay like under 15 minutes for you. So I thought I'd try this out. I like the fact that it has glycerin high up on the rank. And if you don't know, um, reading labels is really an important thing. A lot of times the outside, the, the front part of it, you know, it's cute and everything, but reading labels and ingredients really tells you what you have in your products. And that's another thing that the doctor mentioned. Uh, she even talked about like when things are fragrant, fragrance, fragrance free, or they are, um, or the, or when it says, uh, I can't remember the term, but the basic thing that I learned from her in the first couple of videos that I watched was that reading labels is very important and if you don't know how to read a label everything up on the top is what the highest percent of an ingredient and as you go lower it's a lower amount like let's say if you were baking a cake flour and sugar would be up high where eggs would be maybe in the middle so it's it's like that if you get that so I'm going to try this. Um, I'm going to use it a few times before I come back and tell you how I like it. And I will either do a review of this or it will show up in my uh, favorites or in my products that I don't like. I'm going to see. But I really think that this is going to be good. I have used clay masks before and I have liked them. But to be honest with you, I didn't really read the ingredients as much as I have here. Now on the back here, I just noticed it does say that this one is free of parabens and silicones. And it's made with, I don't know why I fight with this. There you go, now I can see. Made with nature sourced red algae and three pure clay, so that's good. And it's suitable for oily to combination skin. Now, I don't have oily skin, but I'm not going to be using this every day. I probably use it maybe once a week. And just to kind of clear out any junk that I think is in my pores. And kind of refine my texture a little bit. And that's what the salicylic acid is supposed to do. Okay, I have made it under 15 minutes and I'm very proud of myself. I hope that you enjoyed my little Target haul and that you're having a great morning, afternoon, evening, night, whatever time of day you're watching. And if you like what you've seen, why don't you hit the subscribe button? It's free. You don't ever pay for subscriptions on YouTube here. And if you hit the little bell next to it, I think it's here, here. I, I can't determined direction at the moment and I promise you I did not have any wine or nothing I do not drink alcohol <laughs> I just had a very nice evening and my words are fumbling anyway hit that little bell there and you'll get a notification whenever I put a video up if you would like to ask me or you have a comment or question leave that down below if you're shy about asking just hit, send me a private message and I will get back to you once again, take care of yourselves. See you soon. Mwah.